my local Dollar General store has replaced all of its um, <clears throat> household size, I guess they'd be uh, E27 size bulbs, the medium base Edison bulbs with LEDs. And they have some from GE, which are around $8 for the 60 watt. And then they have this these Polaroid uh, replaces a 60 watt bulb is actually eight and a half watts 800 lumens cost a dollar twenty per year to operate now where did I see here saves fifty six dollars and fifty one cents a year over the life of this bulb compared to a 60 watt A19 incandescent bulb. And if we look over here, it says based on running this lamp three hours a day, it will last for 9.1 years. It appear, its appearance is warm at 2700 K, 800 watts. Uh, nothing else interesting there. Now back here, It is distributed by La Im Limage Home Products dot com. La Image Limage. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. La Image Home Products, eleven seventy five Place du Ferry Andre, Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And for technical support, it says call Polaroid Customer Service at Limage Home. And the reason I find this all interesting is because the Polaroid Corporation went out of business years ago. So some one hung low Chinese manufacturer has bought the rights to use the Polaroid name. And let's, uh, let's zoom in here. Maybe you can actually see it. Polaroid, Polaroid and Pixel, Polaroid Color Spectrum, and Polaroid Classic Border of Trademarks of PLRIP Holdings LLC used under license. So, basically what this is saying is, this is not a Polaroid bulb. This is some Chinese manufactured bulb, and they've licensed the right to stick the Polaroid name on it to attract people who are familiar with the Polaroid name. Interesting. A little shady, right? All right, so we look at the bulb. Oh, and the bulb is, has Polaroid stamped on it also. Eight and a half watt, 800 lumen, 120 volt, 60 hertz, 120 milliamp. And the name on there, you can see that, is Intertech. Now, let's see, the globe is I don't know, it's hard to tell. I believe it's plastic. And what is this material here? It feels like a some sort of plasticky type substance and the base is kind of crimped on all right I'm gonna figure out how to open this up and I'll be right back all right that took a bit of time about 15 minutes for me to get this open this is a completely plastic globe and it is sealed around the edges with this really thick plastic and a silicon like adhesive so here we are this has 10 LCDs you can see they're labeled 0 1 or D1 through D10 
we have the uh, connections coming up through the board here the positive and the negative let me zoom in a little bit more all right about 15 minutes to get through there as you can see that plastic that held everything together was incredibly thick now as we look here we can see there are 10 LEDs about one centimeter by maybe three-quarters of a centimeter on the top of the board and then we have the positive and negative connections coming up through the top of the board soldered onto that little pad there and it is underwriters laboratory listed so it says and it looks like there's some part numbers on there so let's see what's inside uh. oops I got the screws in there good that's one thing Looks like they got, you see that it is actually glued down there. I'll have to separate that a little bit. And those are soldered on, so let me unsolder them and I'll be right back. All right, we've gone super destructive on this. So bring us up here. Again, you can see the 10 diodes, and there's the plus and the minus. On the back, you can see the aluminum plate and plenty of heat sink compound. This is looking pretty fairly well built. Now, on to the board. Okay. The alive comes in here, and the neutral comes in here. So the live comes in, goes through an 8.2 microfarad 200 volt electrolytic capacitor. First, it's going through this diode. This is an ES1J, which is a 600 volt silicon diode made by On Semiconductor. And then we have this very interesting uh, seven pin chip, seven, the hell does that say? I looked it up already and I couldn't find anything. Seven one YL six F G B E, nothing. The resistor is red, 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 two, two, two. And then we have another capacitor here 104k 350 volts and the transformer so this is actually a pretty nice looking circuit board done very well very nice indeed so we'll take a look at the uh the leds next all right, so there you have it. That is the Polaroid energy saving 800 lumen 60 watt actual 8.5 watt output LED bulb available from Dollar General stores in the United States. Pretty decent bulb. I have them all over my house. I was just uh, wanting to see what the guts look like. Uh, please give me a like, share with your friends, websites, blogs. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Merry Christmas 2016.